dependent event. And this becomes a little trickier. Event A occur, uh, occurring affects the probability of event B. So we have two events going on. And the first one affects the outcome of the second one. Usually you'll see the words like without replacement. So how do you figure these out mathematically? Well, these problems are, you take the probabilities, multiply them together, which is also known as the intersection. So you take the probability of A, and then you multiply it by the probability of B given A. Okay, so the first event is just normal, but the second event you have to take into account the fact that the first event occurred. Okay, once you do a few of these, they'll make more sense. Okay, a jar has the same marbles, three red, five green, two blue, and six yellow. A marble is chosen at random from the jar. The second marble is chosen without replacement, without replacement, so it changes. What's the probability that you get a green and a yellow? Okay. What's the probability that you get a green? Well, we said that one was 5 out of 16. Now, it's an AND problem, so again, we multiply. What's the probability of yellow? Well, we have six yellow choices, but we ha no longer have 16 marbles. We have 15 marbles, so we have to account for that. Okay, so now we just multiply those together. I actually, I'm going to reduce first. So that's one third, and this is going to take a two out and that's going to give me three eighths. So one times three is three, 20 fourths. Ooh, I should have reduced these threes. And that gives me one eighth. So the probability of that occurring is one eighth of the time. So out of eight tries, it would happen one time is what the theoretical probability is saying. Okay, set next one. A randomly, a random sample of parts come off a machine is, and is checked by an inspector. He found five out of a hundred parts are bad. If he were to do a new sample, what's the probability that he chooses a bad part and then picks another bad part if he doesn't replace the first one? Well, the first one is five out of a hundred. And then the second one, let's see, he chose, if he picks a bad part and he doesn't put it back, so we're assuming he picked a bad part. So that means there's four bad parts left out of 99. Okay, so let's reduce these. One twenty-fifth, and then one fifth. So that's one out of five times 99, and five times 99 would be what, 495 out of and one. There you go. So one out of 495 times that would happen.